We've looked at debugging techniques by using the message box and the debug.print, but another technique which uses one of the debugging tools available with VBA is the ability to add breakpoints. Now a breakpoint is just as it sounds. It's a point of break in your code. When you add a breakpoint to a set of VBA, when the commands reach that point, code actually pauses really more than anything and allows you then to do a number of things, such as stepping through the rest of the code or interrogating the values as they stand so far. If we take the breakpoints file and go into the Visual Basic, we'll find that there's a sub-procedure there called kuberoot, our favorite little kuberoot. And if we were wanting to put a breakpoint in this code, perhaps, for example, here, before the loop starts, we could do that in a number of ways. We can either click straight on the gray bar here, that highlights that row, and puts a brownie circle in the gray bar. That's a breakpoint. And you can click again to turn it off, or you can just click into the line and do F9, and that will also insert a breakpoint. Or you can click, go to debug and toggle breakpoint, and see that that turns it on, and the same command turns it off, hence the word toggle. Or you can use the right click, toggle breakpoint, and again puts it on, or right click, toggle breakpoint, takes it off. At any point, you can place a breakpoint in your code, and effectively, the breakpoint isn't on that line, it's between the previous command and this command. So you imagine there's a sort of faint line between the two lines, that's where the code will now stop when it's asked to execute. So if we were to go back to our sheet, choose a column of information, draw shift Y, still the shortcut for this particular sub procedure, you'll find that we are thrown straight into the code and the line gets highlighted at the point we are at, which is there, for each X in selection. When you hover over any variables, you'll find that they tell you their current value. So currently X has got nothing in it. So X equals nothing, because we actually haven't started the loop yet. This is just at the point of starting the loop. Now, whilst you're in breakpoint mode, you can actually do things in the immediate window, so you can interrogate the value of variables. So if I wanted to know the current value of x, which I do because I hovered over it really, I can put question mark x. But as x actually officially doesn't exist yet, we have no current value. I can step through the code to the next line, to the next command, by pressing F8. So you can see F8 moves me down to the next line. Yellow highlighted line is currently where I am in the code. And you can see as I hover, x dot value equals 64. And if I now use the immediate window to interrogate the value of x by doing the question mark x, I find I get the value 64, because that's the current value of x, which I also get by hovering over. F8 again, we'll move you through to the next line. You see that comes down to next x, which is 4. F8 again takes me back round to the next line of command within the for loop. X is now 57. F8 again brings me around to the next X. F8 again backs around to there. So I'm being stepped through every possible X in my selection. Now if you want to effectively exit break mode and continue, then you press F5 as your keyboard shortcut, or you use a little play arrow here, which is continue. And that continues down the rest of that routine, obviously until here we hit an error, so we're asked a message. Let's continue, yes I would, let's continue, yes I would. So that's our breakpoint. We can place them anywhere we like, the code will stop at that point, drop you into the code, and then you can step through the code doing F8, F8, F8. At any point during the paused status, you can use the immediate window at the bottom to interrogate or whatever we want. We can also step through the code, which we've seen as F8, or we can step over or step out. So in the debug, we have step over, step out, whereas F8 is step in. Notice these are currently grayed out because we're not in the middle of running the routine. If I go back to Excel, pick on the next column of information, Control Shift Y, here's my breakpoint. 
And when I go to debug, you see I can step into, which is the next line, debug, step into, but that's F8, so that's much quicker using the keyboard shortcut. Or I can step over, which skips me over the next step, so I can sort of quickly move through. Or I can step out, in which case I've effectively continued out of the breakpoint, and I continue with the sub-procedure until the code finishes. So that's break mode. Pretty useful if you're having trouble around a particular point of not seeing what's happening, can't figure out why that value isn't picking up that value. You might have tried the debug.print option. Well, the break gives you another way of getting into that routine and just stepping through and checking and interrogating values as it steps through.